What makes a great band great? So this is not the story of Def Leppard, Billy Idol, Eric Clapton, Bloyster Cult. We're the band that opened up for Eric Clapton, Def Leppard, Billy Idol, and Bloyster Cult, and a million others. As it was in the days of yore, if you wanted to make it as a musician, there was only one place to go. You know, Motley, Rat, us, um, I mean, all the bands. We were all trying to get the same thing. We're all hanging out with each other, partying with each other. And we all lived on or off the strip. It was almost like, you know, the class of 87. It was a fun time to be young and in Hollywood. Patrons at the Roxy, Gazzari's, and the Whiskey welcomed Hampage with open arms. At some point you cross a line, you don't know when you crossed it. Things start disappearing in your life. I spent the next two years basically homeless, living in the streets of Hollywood. I got shot at, I got stabbed three times, so it wasn't a good look. We had a serious thing to do, okay? Let's do the message now, okay? All right, and Corey, action. Living a life, being in places like this. I gotta say, that was always a huge dream of mine, was to be able to write those songs, be on that stage. You know, I mean, touring is hard, though. I mean, it's, it's not like people think. It's not this big, glamorous thing. So tell me something about the people who come out to see Ampage. Um, they're very intelligent. Yes. <laughs> what distinguishes Ampage from other bands in general is the longevity. And that's all Mark. That's all Mark. He has stayed on the path. From playing sold out arenas to small Midwestern dive bars, from recording and performing with legends to obscurity. This is the story of Ampage. Oh, yeah.